Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Davy, and today's video I'm sharing with you five ways to love cleaning your home. Now these are ways I find joy in cleaning my house and hopefully it'll inspire you to just find little ways that you can enjoy and love cleaning your home. So this was something I saw on YouTube a couple years ago actually and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to reshare it with what I have found and um, just put my five tips in there of why I love cleaning my home. So the first way I love cleaning my home is to make a daily cleaning routine. Do not stack everything up on one day on your Saturday, especially if you want to spend time with your family or your kids or there's other activities going on because then it just gets behind and piled up. So I make a daily cleaning checklist um, like Mondays, I will take the trash out. Tuesdays, I'll wipe down the bathroom. Um, and now, I do some of those things more than once a week just because they need it. But then you're not spending a lot, a lot of time on one day cleaning your whole entire house. My second way I love cleaning my house is to view it as a way of honoring God and taking care of the place He has given us to live in. Our house is about a thousand square foot house. It does have a basement and it's unfinished, but we um, just view it as a place that God has supplied us with to take care of. And if I left it messy and dirty, I wouldn't feel happy about living here. And I'm not respecting the place that God has given us to live in. And it also is respecting our family, like my husband and our little baby that's on the way, just keeping a clean home and making sure that um, it is well taken care of for my family. Third way I love cleaning my home is to be okay with imperfection. I am sometimes pretty nitpicky when it comes to cleaning. It's hard for me to see a speck of dust, but it is okay not to get all the dust off of every little thing all the time. It's okay to have um, blankets that aren't folded perfectly on your couch. It's okay to have some dishes that didn't get done that night and just do them in the morning. I think time with family and with friends is more important than cleaning and it's hard for me to view that sometimes and so I have to work on that too, not being a perfectionist when it comes to cleaning. Be okay with imperfection. My fourth way to love cleaning is to keep all my surfaces more clutter free. My kitchen countertop has like two things on it. My homemade kombucha and my bowl of oranges. So that's really all I have on my countertop. I And our mail organizer, I guess, because that's where we keep it. But I don't have any appliances on there. I just keep the surface nice and clean. It's easy to wipe down so I don't have to pick every little thing up and move it. Um, I'm trying to be more minimal in my decorating style, especially with a baby coming in almost five weeks. My fifth and final way to love cleaning is to listen to a podcast or an audiobook. Anytime I'm cleaning, I just turn on, like, focus on the family, or I'll have a YouTuber who's cleaning on, um, going. Even if I'm not watching it, just listening to it sometimes helps or catch up on an audiobook that I haven't been able to listen to for a while. It's just a great way to kind of motivate you to keep cleaning because then you're listening to it and you just want to keep going. Although I do only do that for about 20 minutes a day anyways, not a long period of time. But it just kind of gets you going in that mode to clean and uh, encourage you to listen to something on the way. So those are my five ways that I have loved cleaning my home. If you have more tips, uh, more ways that you have found helpful to love cleaning your home, put them in the comments below. I'd love to read those. Uh, other subscribers and viewers would probably love to see those as well. So yeah, comment below for sure. Anyways, I am going to end the video there. As you can tell, I am pretty stuffed up. I've had a cold for two weeks and being pregnant, I can't seem to kick it for some reason. Uh, my next couple videos are probably gonna be a little more pregnancy, uh, baby related, so stay tuned for those if you are an expecting mother or you just like watching videos like that. I'll, of course, still incorporate some of my other type of videos too, but I need to make sure those are out. And of course, spring is just around the corner even though it's negative 30 right here in South Dakota today, so it's hard to want to decorate for spring when it's so cold. So hopefully I'll have some spring decorating videos coming out too, especially before baby comes. Anyways, hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and found some encouragement through my five ways to love cleaning your home. 
All right, talk with you in the next one. Bye.